good economy. It's quite another to be building one in the economy we have now. Um, free markets, the second principle, core principle, free markets. Production and prices should be dictated by laws of supply and demand without the interference of government in the way of subsidies, price controls, or overburdensome regulation. So basically get out of our way and let us do what we do best. Um, limited government. Our government should be charged with administering only those functions essential to society. And that cannot be performed by private entities. Fourth principle is local control. Governmental power and functions should be as close to the citizens as possible for maximum oversight, control, and responsiveness. And the fifth principle, personal choice and responsibility. Citizens must be free to pursue life, liberty, and property without undue government interference, reaping the rewards or bearing the consequences of their decision. Um, so that, that's the framework that you, you take when you go and you look at House Bill 3200. How does that line up? And you literally take apart that bill and score it in those five categories. That's what a, a analyzing bill <coughs> does. They have got a pretty fancy um, website that takes all of this information and compiles it gives these bills actual scores and then gives uh, representatives and senators scores based on how they vote for or against a good or a bad bill. So that's uh, kind of in a nutshell what that is. Um, and if anyone has any questions, feel free to just jump up and down or throw something at me. <laughs> we only had 11 uh, Republic of Representatives vote against the bridge. Is that is that the number? Yeah, I, yes. I knew, I knew it passed the house, I but I didn't name. know for who it was. <laughs> Good for yeah. you. So. Yeah. 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 She called last one. She says, this hurt my heart. <laughs> it did. Yes. Um, sorry, Stella. Well, it hurt my heart because somebody that I care about a great deal and has been a friend was wonderful for us. <laughs> and, and a couple of other things. And I'm, I'm Why is it inwardly angry at how I can tell him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, it's good that you're concerned with, you know, not just, you know, blowing up at him. Because that, that doesn't mean good. Well, no, it doesn't yeah. mean good. Yeah. You need to keep the relationships you do. going. Um, my question was, when you're lobbying, are you lobbying uh, representatives that are not from your district? Are you going to okay. lots of them? or? So so one of the things that happens when when you sign up for the Oregon Citizens Lobby is you you get it gets noted who your senator and representative are. So and then on there's alerts that go out on particular things happen. Timing is really important in sales. When something comes to a hearing, when something comes to a vote, if um, if your senator or representative is involved in like sponsoring or co-sponsoring one of these bills, then and that's kind of all built into you know the technical side of the website that I have no clue about. But so you would be. Uh, utilized especially as a constituent of someone who is either good or bad on some particular bill. Um, but when we were up there uh, a couple, just a couple weeks ago, um, we were actually going to um, our own for sure, but others too. Um, the chair, um, the House Bill 2800, which is the Columbia River Crossing Bill, the uh, sponsors of that bill were, were being visited by the Oregon Citizens Lobby. And we and we had we, we gathered in a room, we were actually in a room in the Capitol building, it was room 350 when I was there, and there was 50 to 60 people in that room. Carla is amazing. She's running this room. 
And she knows that place. She knows what's going on. She's got a big easel up in front, and she's got for the day, here's the hearings that are going on, and here's the room and the time. And you can do something as simple as observe a hearing. And she's got a, she's got a piece of paper, and it's got all the questions on it. And you go and literally observe who on the committee, um, who is seeming to be in uh, support Bill, uh, they're having hearing on, who's, who's opposed to it, and, and that's your job. You're not there to talk or get up and give a speech or anything. You're making notes like this of who's, who's uh, presenting in front of the committee. She's gathering all this information, and it, it's very useful. It, it's not something one person can do. Um, you can actually do bill analysis in the room there, and, and one of the cool things about doing it there is you're surrounded by people that know the rows and have done this before. It's not like, you know, attempting this at home. And, and so that's, that's a great way to start bill analysis is go to uh, the war room on a Thursday and stick up your hand and ask for help. You'll get it. There's a lot, there's a, there's a lot of good people that have uh, been there, done that, up there. Um, I, if I mentioned, I had never actually been to the Capitol building before two weeks ago. And she does, Carla does an orientation. The first thing she does is she's got maps of the building, how it's laid out, how you get to, uh, you know, a particular senator or representative's office, when they're likely to be there, when, you know, when they're, you know, they're on the floor at certain times. It's, it's really interesting just to wander the halls and not do anything. Um, I have a letter I, I'd like to read if I can take the time. Uh, one, one of the guys who went up with us, um, also had never been there. In fact, most of us had actually never been there. And he wrote, um, uh, he was asked uh, by the Northwest Connections newspaper to write about his experiences. And, and he did, and you know, it's like an op-ed or an editorial or something in that paper. Um, it's not published yet, but anyway. Um, I'm wandering again. Uh, so, I, I would, uh, again, encourage you to give it a try. I have, uh, by the way, if you want a carpool up there, this is a really cool thing that I'll give out to anyone who wants to go up there. Uh, this is a parking pass. Um, it's good for an entire day, and so you don't have to feed the meters. It's, they have, there are 10-hour meters around. And, of course, you got to take a stack of money. But um, this thing is, you, you have to black, it's good for any day. And you decide on the day you want to go. So I actually have some of these that I picked up last trip and that makes uh, parking free. And you have to make sure that you mark it because if you don't, you just hang from the window, you get a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So how am, I, how am I doing for time? You're good. Now the other thing too, you know, down downstairs in the uh, Capitol building, uh, or the I don't know what the name of that that is. It's across from room 50. It's all I know downstairs, and you can get the booklet, you know, on this, on, and it will be uh, the new one will be out uh, probably March. Mm -hmm. And it has all of the senators and all of the representatives and all kinds of information in there so that you can uh, know who to get a hold of and, uh, and different things. It's a right. it cost three dollars. It did cost three dollars. It's a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. I, I always buy them every time they come out and bring them back for our group. Yeah, yeah it's good. You know, they need more uh, just regular folk mm -hmm. involved up there. Um, so this is um, not too long. Of this. Um, this guy's name is Tim. I 
I've been in denial about having to wear a 